And you can change the dream. Change it by simply daring to assume that you are now what reason is going to tell you, that you're not it now, and it's difficult to imagine that you ever will be it. Forget that. All things are possible to God, and you've found who he is. He is your own wonderful human imagination. That's God. So assume it, and then let it happen in your world. I'll give you a little secret. People say, I work so hard at it. The imagination will do little that we seek from compulsion. It will do little, if anything, until we have imagined the wish fulfilled. He does not move under compulsion. We have to imagine the wish fulfilled for imagination to take action. So when people will tell you, but I work so hard at it, well, that's why you're failing. If you really believe that all things are possible to God, and God is your own wonderful human imagination, and his ways are higher than your mortal level, well, then what are you interfering with that state for? Assume the end and don't work it at all. You'll be moving under compulsion to manifest it if you simply assume it and let it be. What do you do after someone is pregnant? You just let it be. And if you don't, if you interfere with it, you're going to perform a certain miscarriage. But the same thing is true of a mental miscarriage. You simply assume that you are and go about your business. And when you least expect it, you feel the evidence of it coming into your world. And then you can speak with the authority of experience. Now let us go into the silence.